In this video, I'll show you how quick and easy it is to create an interactive exercise. It's easy to send interactive exercises that you've created in Mozabook to students, even as homework. Students can then do them at home and send them back to teachers. Teachers can then find out what students know. I'll only show you how to create exercises in this video. If you want to know how to send them as homework, please have a look at our other video. Let's get started. First, you need to open the Test Editor tool to create an interactive exercise. You can find this tool in the Mozabook software. As you can see, this Test Editor tool can be used to create a large variety of exercises. For example, we can do a matching exercise with it, which means that we can pair texts with illustrations, pictures, or audio, or illustrations with illustrations, or texts with texts. In this video, I'm going to make a multiple choice exercise. As you can see, there are different templates for each exercise type. This means that the possible answers will appear in two separate columns, for instance. First, we need to enter the question. For example, which rivers have an estuary? This template offers you the option to include an illustration in your exercise. If you click on it, the media library opens in Mozabook, from which you can easily insert digital content into the exercise. Here, you can choose what source you want to use. You can search for images on the internet or in the MozoWeb database, or you can even use the images that you've saved and stored on your own computer. Now, I'm going to search the MozoWeb database, entering the word estuary because I want a good illustration of an estuary. Here is a nice picture. I can simply drag and drop it to insert it into the test editor. Then I'll adjust it to make it look even better. Enter the possible answers. When you're done adding all the answers, Indicate which answers you'll accept as correct. Only answers that you mark as correct during the editing phase will be accepted as correct. When you're ready, click on the Save button. Now you can try the exercise you've created. I'm going to give a few incorrect answers on purpose. You can see I made a few errors on the test. I had two errors the Elbe and the Nile. These are errors because the Nile has an estuary while the Elbe doesn't. Click on the tick mark to check the right answer. You're done with this exercise, but as you've seen, it's possible to create a large variety of exercise types. You can find video help in the software itself. This video help is in English, and after you watch it, you'll be more confident when it comes to creating other exercises. Let's return to the multiple choice exercise. This exercise is ready to share with your students. If you want to do that, you first need to insert it into your publication. As you can see here, a publication is always open in Mozabook, and you can freely modify it according to your current needs. Your exercise has been inserted into your presentation. Now, right-click on it to select the Upload to the Mozaweb menu item. You can share it with other teachers in your school or make it public. If you select the private option, only you will have access to this exercise sheet unless you later send it as homework or classwork, for example. After you upload it to MozoWeb, it's ready to be assigned to students. It's important to upload everything to your MozoWeb account, since you can only assign exercises and worksheets to students that are there.
Thank you for your attention. I recommend everyone watch our tutorial videos to learn about MozaBook and MozaWeb. If you need further information, please go to our website at mozaweb.com and scroll down the page to find the Can We Help You menu item. Click on it and write to us at our customer support page.